Brian, pre-season done and dusted. Uh, good minutes the legs. A lot of the players played 90 minutes and uh, four wins from six. It's been a pretty good schedule, hasn't it, the last few weeks? Um, yeah, I feel so. Um, I think today was a little bit of frustration, but obviously nothing you can really do is this time of year holidays. I think every team uh, like has those like frustrations and, and things they need to put need to um, deal with. But I thought we dealt with it really, really well. Um, I thought both halves, especially today, um, what we've worked on in training, we looked like so, so dangerous. And like um, the, the one critique would probably be we should have scored more goals from the chances that we had. Um, some good goalkeeping, some maybe poor finishing, and um, some great defending from uh, AFC Crawley, yeah. But um, yeah, super, super proud, super impressed of their work rate today. Um, I think gradually, like every game um, during pre seasons, improved um, on certain aspects that we wanted to do. So, um, yeah, really, really happy with what we've done so far. I know we could have scored a few more, but there were some real ruthlessness, particularly in early uh, exchanges from Shakira. Yeah, like exactly the, the, what we want from Shakira and like our four players. Um, I think her and Shakira and uh, Mia, um, especially first 20 minutes and pretty well all game, but the first 20 minutes they are both devastated and probably should have had two each in, in the first, was it, 10, 12 minutes. Um, yeah, it's another aspect that we, we, we've worked on. Um, but yeah, it's definitely when you start the game off like that, it, it puts you in a good stead for the rest of the game. If you look at pre-season as a whole, how would you rate the, the last few weeks? Yeah, it's, yeah, we've been really, really pleased. Um, I think on the season, we're really looking forward to the season comes back around. We got, you have all the players. Um, the squad's looking really, really good. Um, we're really impressed um, with the new players that have come in, but also really impressed with the players from, from last season who, who know that the squad is so much stronger um, and their work rate and their commitment and their performances and have proven that. Um, that um, training and the game should be really competitive moving forward so um, yeah really pleased with what we've done so far um, and looking forward to getting started next week. We've spoken about um, Jody and Shakira quite a bit you and I uh, during pre-season but not just the only new faces you've got Phoebe who's come in now to uh, add to the midfield as well as uh, Tia and Morgan in defence you know talk a bit about those players and what, what you like about them. Well I think like for us we wanted um, we, we want more energy um, more desire, more ruthlessness in, in the team, um, and with those, four, um, of those five players plus Steph, who's come in today from the reserves, who's been in and around it, um, she's taken that challenge on um, really, really well. Um, they're all young; they've all played at a um, high level we're currently at. Um, they all have their own like leadership qualities that they've come in, so they're not afraid to um, to ask questions. Uh, they all want to learn. Um, and they fit into the group really, really well. So um, yeah, we're, we're super excited by those. Um, and obviously the season starts next week, so we're still hoping to potentially get a couple more players in as well. Um, but yeah, those uh, those five players you have mentioned have done really, really well. Um, and yeah, we've definitely improved our squad and start at 11 by like, moving forward. And just finally, any messages for the Pepper Army ahead of the new season? Yeah, what is it, three, three weeks until our first home game of the season, I think it is. Ebbs Fleet at home. Um, I think 3rd of September, yeah, so um, I think that they are one of the main reasons a lot of players want to come and play for us. Um, teams don't enjoy coming to play there as much anymore. I think they used to really enjoy the environment, but um, the, the, yeah, the Pepper Army have added a little bit of um, intensity um, in there, especially when they're full force. Um, so yeah, we, uh, yeah so especially the new players that haven't played there in front of um, there were 40, 50, 60 of them in front of a uh, good crowd at Champion Hill. So, um, yeah, three, I think it's three weeks away. Um, looking forward to getting everyone back to Champion Hill. Um, and yeah, I can't see the, the Pepper Army.